a government agent that stole over $800,000 in bitcoins when he was investigating the Silk Road, this criminal marketplace, has been sentenced this week to up to six years of prison after he showed what was described as breathtaking abuse of trust. And we're talking about Sean Bridges, this member of the Secret Service that hijacked the account of a Silk Road administrator to take away these bitcoins, Nick. And not only that, this administrator, his name was Curtis Green, happened to be a federal informant. And he was placed in harm because the founder of Silk Road assumed that he was the one stealing these coins and tried to kill him. Ross Ulbricht, the founder, was sentenced to life in prison uh, be because of his involvement with the Silk Road. But now we know that this guy, Sean Bridges, Secret Service, and also Karl Mark Force IV, this guy was a member of the DA, worked together to steal these bitcoins and implicate other people for these crimes. The process was so complex, so complex, that they were able to steal 20,000 bitcoins. At the time, they were valued at $350,000. Today, those 20,000 Bitcoins will amount to $8 million. Whoa, man, that is that is nuts. And all they got, you said, was six years in prison. I mean, Six look, years and six years and a half. Right, Russ Alprich, okay, the guy who's running this whole marketplace. Yeah, he goes to jail for life because, you know, he's selling all sorts of crazy stuff online illegally, uh, threatens the lives of, of agents. He goes to jail for life, and then you have corrupt agents in the mix stealing oh my God, so much money, and all they get is six years. Come on, that's kind of silly. That, it, they should get more than that. Well, this, this is the highest of, of, of sentencing that they were able to give that them. Was the max? Actually, actually, they say that this was a harsh sentencing for them. So you have an idea. Oh, for yeah. them, this is, this is a harsh sentencing. For people that is betraying the trust of the public, that you suppose that these guys are the good guys, we have a chart to see how complex was the operation where this guy was able to steal. And we won't go in detail, but you can see up to four steps, five steps in between the original source that was the Silk Road accounts. But it was very, very complex. When these guys realized that the government was after them, they decided to take the money out of the accounts in the Silk Road and transfer them to a different Bitcoin market called Mount Gox. Mount Gox closed after an inside job, it was a very public uh, meltdown for a Bitcoin company. And not only that, when Sean Bridges knew that Mt. Gox was under investigation, he said like, oh, perfect. He went directly to the assistant United States attorney and said, hey, you guys are investigating Mt. Gox. I am too. Why don't you guys give me a civil seizure warrant and I can take all the money away from the founder of this other company. So we see a guy that didn't not only went after Silk Road and steal the money, and yes, participated in the Baltimore Silk Road Task Force, but at the same time, he defunded and broke down a completely legal Bitcoin market just trying to hide his crime. Unbelievable. So one crime leading to another to another, all because of one idiot who's out there trying to sell drugs and other illegal things to millions of people all over the world. That's nuts. Correct. Trying to stop crime, these two federal agents decided that it was easy to steal up to $1 million in Bitcoin hiding behind a police investigation.